I'm always down for one more, one more. Consumer audio gear is all the rage right now. There's an incredible number of options for headphones and earbuds. It really is a bit overwhelming, but through this audio renaissance, One More has been one of my favorite brands to detail. The company started off with really nice cabled earbuds that competed phenomenally well on price. Now they're riding the bleeding edge of true wireless. Now they sent over their new Evo earbuds for me to test drive and share some thoughts. And getting some of the conclusion out of the way, they get a very positive recommendation from me. This brand has earned a lot of trust from me over the years as I've been covering their products. And the Evo continue on on a tradition of great quality, great features, and at competitive prices. Enough preamble, jumping right in, the hardware is on point. Dual driver earbuds, we've got a 10 millimeter dynamic driver paired with a balanced arm, three microphones per bud for noise reduction and to improve voice calling, Bluetooth 5.2, and they use LDAC as the top codec option. IPX4 sweat resistance, automatic play pause with ear detection sensors, and right off the bat, I gotta praise the battery life. One more estimated five and a half hours of listening with ANC on. I was just under six hours on my first charge and listen. And of course we get additional charges in the case. We can extend runtime 20 hours out in the field between full battery top offs. And the case can charge wirelessly. The only criticism I have for this build, and it's not even a strong criticism. You know, some of my all time favorite buds come from One More. I still regularly use my One More neckband. And these older generations of One More had a little more accessory action happening. We could get different wings and different ear tips to help secure a better fit. Now, the Evo are more straightforward. I found a solid fit for my ears, but the nozzles feel just a touch broader than on the One More color buds. The oval shape helps with comfort, but they might be a challenge for folks who have smaller ear canals. And that also leans a little into the operation. The original One More dual driver ANC had buttons and tap commands. The Evo move over to all touch, and so we lose a little of the on bud control. I wish we still had single tap commands to flesh out, to, to help expand on the number of options, but these are also really sensitive. You know, just adjusting them in my ears, I can often trigger the assistant or toggle the A and C. And that's the other demerit, small demerit for the Evo. There's a great app to back up these earbuds, but some functions are locked into that app. And that makes them just a little fiddly. They're not as complicated as the edifiers were, but it's just enough to squint at for a second. The main usability example that stood out for me on my initial pairing, the earbuds only connected to my Android phones over AAC, but LDAC is on the side of the box. So I go into my phone settings and the developer options and there's no LDAC support anywhere to be found. LDAC has to be activated in the companion app and then the phone can see LDAC as an option. I don't love that, but it is worth getting into the app for all the customization features on tap. One positive example, I'm critically excited to see granular settings for noise reduction, including a dedicated wind filter. Also, I've been a longtime fan of hearables, earbuds that act kind of like low level hearing aids and are built to help amplify speech above noise. There's really no reason why regular consumer earbuds can't start doing similar things. Well, lo and behold, there's a speech amplification option for the transparency mode. That's a really nice touch. And I recently praised the OnePlus earbuds for offering an ambient sound mode. It's a novel way to use earbuds like comforting earplugs. And one more is doing something similar here too with their soothing sounds feature. There's so much more we could be doing with audio gear, you know, not just for entertainment or notifications, but also for physical and mental health. So solid thumbs up there. All the tech stuff is top tier. But these are earbuds, so how do they sound? We're going with lively, colorful, and rich. I genuinely like one more tuning, where I used to feel that maybe, you know, they got a bit low-end heavy. They deftly avoid being skull rumblers. This hardware combination has been bulletproof on previous One More Buds, and they play well here too. We get great articulation in the mids. They avoid landing shrill on aggressive mixes. 
I mean, a great test track for these was Run the Jewels Just. You've got to go from that bouncy bass kick on, that rides under the whole track and still get great distorted microphone sound to cut through. I, I like earbuds that run clear and getting to hear that timber and vocals in such a baller hip hop track is really nice. Now, I had to back that up immediately with Killing in the Name of, Rage Against the Machine, where the bass gets a little dark, but it doesn't roll over the guitar distortion. You never want to hit Rage with floppy, dull, mega bass. And it's a dead giveaway if the smiley face EQ is out of whack, if the cymbals come in piercing, which didn't happen here. Coming from that hard rock vibe, I'm very satisfied. Now, some folks will definitely want to hit the Sound ID plugin in the app to tune a little bit further. You can customize to your own hearing preferences, but I can totally see some folks wanting, probably hitting the EQ on their phone directly just to dial in a little bit more low end for some hip hop and a lot of electronica. And they might be just a little too rolled off in the highs for me. You know, it's a, the upper air I'm most sensitive. I, I, stuff starts to sound piercing, I really don't like it. But some of the jazz tracks I test with could have done with just a little more air. I mean, just a touch. But then like the saxophone kicks on that buzzy rasp on Dave Brubeck and, and yeah, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, this is real good. Because Brubeck was also a great test for stereo imaging. And I think we're in good shape for a true wireless closed back earbud. They're decently wide, but they still feel kind of close like uh, the hard panning on classic rock and roll, it doesn't sound like stereo out in space. An instrument might be tucked behind my ear. Like the positioning is correct, but it almost feels like it's originating behind my ear, not that sound is coming from all directions around me. Again, closed back, true wireless buds, these are very good because the utility here is also a part of the draw. One more prides themselves on sound quality, reducing distortion, and certifying their noise reduction tech. Now, I'll leave a link down below for one more quiet max technology. It's how they tune their ANC with multiple microphones to deliver not just great noise reduction, but lower distortion. The ANC here is very good, but it's not the heaviest reduction I've heard. You know, depending on how they fit your ears, I don't know that much has really beaten my aforementioned one more sport neckband, but this is very good ANC. And the flip side is less impact on the audio you listen to. I mean, you can regularly hear the EQ on a song shift when ANC is applied, as that earbud is trying to manipulate noise around you. It can sometimes cut into the track. I'm very happy to trade a little, just a little of the brute force noise reduction for better representation of what I'm listening to. And we're not trading much. These do block the noise. So then we add additional controls for ANC and transparency modes and the Evo land as a tech forward option at the bleeding edge of audio tech. Ooh, we got some good wind happening on this one. And of course, the all important microphone test. It's a really breezy day right now. So this might be a bit of a challenge for these earbuds. We just want to get a sense of what these earbuds are going to do. The microphones here, what they're going to sound like recording locally to my phone before sending that information up to a cell tower. And that's about as good a place to wrap up as we'll probably get. I like these a lot. Now, I gotta say, it's maybe the highest praise I can deliver that since getting the Evo, I haven't been picking up my neck band as much as I used to. If you'd asked me about that like three years ago, that would have been fighting words. I still really love the utility of a good neck band, but the current, you know, zeitgeist of audio tech is definitely packing more gear into true wireless. One more has been around and the Evo are a top tier competitor. I mean, we're in the league of Soundcore, Sony, Master and Dynamic, while still comfortably undercutting the price of some AirPods Pro. This is a really exciting time for true wireless. I absolutely love the different options we have for features, tech, and tuning, and the Evo, definitely keep that conversation going. So I will, of course, leave some links down below where you can find more information on the One More Evo ANC earbuds, uh, where you can shop these puppies online, and maybe there could be you know, a link or a promo code to help save you a couple bucks. I'm just saying, 
might be worth a look. As always, thanks so much for watching, for sharing these videos, subscribing to the channel. All of the support lately has been tremendous. I can't thank you all enough as I've been under embargo for a bunch of videos. I've, I've, I've been slow playing content to this channel and everything's coming out now and y'all have been fantastic. Those of you who are checking out links underneath, who are visiting my website, somegadgetguy.com, or those of you who have taken the next step and have joined the list of names scrolling by on your screen from my Patreon, patreon.com slash some gadget guy. This list is basically a collection of the coolest tech pals in the multiverse. So I hope you'll check them out. Now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet at some gadget guy on the Twitters and the Twitch, so much on the Facebooks and the Instagrams, and I will catch you all on the next review.